Mike Sullivan. I'm a former IRS agent and teaching instructor. Welcome to welcome into my home today. I, a lot of this is education. I am available for representation, but I love to tell you what the truth is so you know about it. Today I'm going to be talking about the 10-year statute of limitations. I was the IRS. I worked there for, yeah, a dime, uh, 10 years. I've worked thousands of cases. You can go see my resume on my uh, website at 777irs.com. I've been on all the major news stations. I'm used as a source for different news stations, believe it or not. Yes, little old me. So IRS has a statute of limitations, and that statute of limitations is 10 years. When does the 10 years run? It runs from the date of your assessment. What is the date of your assessment? Let's say you file your tax return April 15th. Well, it takes time for IRS to get that information. Sometimes you paper file it electronic. It takes time for that, that, that tax return actually to get processed in IRS's system where they officially enter you into the IRS system. That is called the date of the assessment. That's when the 10 years runs. Let's say you file a paper return April 15th. Maybe by June 15th, six weeks later, maybe you electronically file it. It's processed a week later. That starts the 10 years. The normal statute of limitations runs 10 years from that date. Now, things extend the statute of limitations. Of course, a certain payments agreements may accept it, uh, extend it 30 days. Offers and compromise extend it. Bankruptcy extends it litigation extends it. There's a collection due processes extend at the time they're in. So what you have to do is if any of these events have happened in the last 10 years, you need to pull an IRS transcript up to find out when your true, uh, your true 10 years is over. Now, if nothing has happened, you've just filed your return and left there 10 years, boom, your 10 years is up after the date of the assessment. It's always best to pull an IRS transcript up to find out. Uh, I don't, I, I wouldn't advise you calling IRS and saying in the seventh or eighth year, hey, when's my statute limit? They may just pull the case up and start working it because you've just alerted them that statute is up. So you can go pull your IRS transcripts up, find out if you can get, if you call a professional, they actually have, certain softwares that they go into the system and tell you when it's up. But I just want you to know the normal statute of limitations is 10 years on a case. That's it. Now, remember, IRS can extend the statute of limitations if they want to reduce, if IRS files a lien, for instance, and they want to reduce it to a judgment, that that will go ahead and extend that lien for the time the, the uh, each judgment is in every state. So if you ever need me, I'm a former IRS agent. We kind of know everything there is to know. Please give me a like, a share, a subscription. Subscriptions are important. Why, why do people ask for these? Well, we ask for them because they look good for YouTube, and YouTube keeps bumping you up to standing. So I'm trying to eventually go to first place. So if you give me a subscription, I'd appreciate it. My number somewhere, give me a subscription. I appreciate it. I answer all my calls. You can leave comments, and I try to get to some of the comments if I can, depending on how many I get. Thank you for listening.